Hello, this is Matthew with F3 IT. We are on site at another location today doing a toast install. Um, and the location is still under a bit of construction, but they have all their modems and networking underneath this counter here that we're going to connect the toast equipment to. Um, so I have all the toast equipment here with me as far as the networking side of things. Um, and as I go through unboxing and setting everything up, I'll explain what it is. So first here we have the toast router. So it comes here in this box, has a bunch of ports for the different antennas that we can throw on this uh, for if they need to use a wireless signal or a cellular backup that's integrated into the router. Um, and the first thing I'd like to do is just get this connected to the internet modem right away. So I will be doing that. Plugging into the modem that's currently under this counter. And then going into the WAN port back here. And then the next thing we can do is get all the different antennas connected. There is also a plug for power that it comes with and a ethernet cable that we can use to connect either to the modem or to the switch, whatever is best for that. So we can get this box off to the side. And then each of these antennas is labeled for which port it should go into. So I'm just gonna separate those out. Perfect. Right, so we have this port here. That's for the Wi-Fi 2.4 G on the back. So that's where we will connect these two. Next, we have these antennas that will go to the Wi-Fi 5.8 G port. So we can connect them there. And then we have these two extra cables that will go on the side. And these can push through both 4G and uh, the 5G cell connection. Go. So now the antennas are plugged in. We have the router connected to their internet modem. Now we can get this connected to power. And we can see the lights start flashing up here. So while we're waiting for this router to come online, the next thing we can connect is their switch that is going to connect all of the toast equipment to it. It comes with a power cable that's set off to the side. Mounting equipment. We have our switch. So this is a 24 port switch that also does PoE, which we will be using for these access points to get them online. Um, and the PoE is power over ethernet. So that means you don't need an extra power injector to get those access points online. The switch itself can supply both data and power through that one cable. So once again, we can get this connected to that toast router here. Plug that into port there. Plug this one into LAN one. And then we can power this device on. There we go, that's powering on. And for now we can keep things nice and tidy. The twisty tie until we get all the other connections in place and then from there we can cable manage a little more neatly okay and then once we have the switch connected when it's finally online we'll see green lights on the front for the power and the system light um, and then we also have green lights for whatever ports are active on this so now we can see green lights this router is ready to go um, and we have this port for uplink and the rest of these will be used for toast devices and then also for the access points. Now that we have the toast router online and the switch connected, we can get the access points connected to the switch to make sure that those come online and work properly. And then once we confirm these are online, then those can go move and be mounted where those are going to actually live in the restaurant. Uh, so the first we have this toast indoor access point that we can unbox and it does come with an ethernet cable we can use 
as well as some mounting anchors and screws if we need to use those. So for these access points, typically those will get installed on this switch, on these later ports here from uh, port 16 to port 23. So down here on the back, they have ports labeled for if it's a WAN port that'll be plugged into with PoE, or if it's a LAN port where if you need to connect another device downstream, you can do that. But we're going to plug into the WAN slash PoE port here for this, and then plug it over here into the switch on this end. <clears throat> and that should start powering up the device that we can see here. So this light is coming on. While that device is powering on and connecting, we can move over to the outdoor access point. And this outdoor access point is gonna be a little heftier because it's made to withstand the elements from being outside. So this access point here Hefty Boy it comes with a mounting bracket on the back, as well as some uh, pole clips if you need to put that onto a pole, and again, an Ethernet port, uh, Ethernet cable. So with this, it comes with this protective casing on the bottom to feed the cable through, so that way when it's connected, it'll protect it from rain, snow, um, and all those uh, dirt, anything that could potentially get in there um, and damage that cable connection. So we can unscrew this to feed the cable through. Pop this little rubber end out from there and this will go around the cable. And then we feed the cable through here so this is another little rubber stopper that we can connect back in there. And this is just another step to help prevent any moisture or debris getting um, into the switch or the, the port here. Plug this into the bottom in that PoE port. And then now that these are connected, we can go back and screw the bottom on. And then we have this other end um, that will screw on to this and just give another step of protection for that cable. Now that we have this connected, we can also connect this access point to the switch. And that should also begin to power this up. And then once these get powered up and connected to the network, We can double check and make sure that we can see the toast access point being broadcasted. And then once those are confirmed to be online, we can again move those and mount those where they will live um, on the wall, on the ceilings, uh, wherever is best at the restaurant at this specific location. Yeah. All right, so we're going to get started with a toast POS setup over here. We have the cash drawer already down. This will have a cash drawer cable on the bottom right here. And then we can just feed that through the side to where the printer will live over here. Next thing we have is the toast screen. And this toast screen here has the guest facing display on the opposite side that the guests will see when their order is being put in as they're paying for that order. They'll be able to tip and sign right on the screen here. So I like to get this all set up first. And then they also have a payment puck for the guest pay that will go on the other side of the cash register for the guest to pay on. And then we can unbox the toast receipt printer as well. This comes with a USB-C cable that can be used to get the terminal online with power and internet. So 
these cables come color coordinated as well to help out. So there's the orange end that matches with the orange side here. So this will get into the terminal. And then this red and black polka dot end goes into the toast printer. And then this puck card reader comes with the connections. Uh, the one that we typically use is this B side connection that will get connected directly to the terminal. So now in this printer box, we have the actual toast printer. Which comes with a test roll inside. And then as was mentioned before, this USB-C cable goes from the printer to the terminal and will actually supply the terminal the power and internet needed. So the power and internet um, comes in the terminal box in these boxes here, but these will actually get connected to the printer first and then the printer through this USB-C cable passes, passes that power and internet over to the terminal. So we open this back up here and the toast devices have everything color coded as well on the back. And then it's always a good idea to get everything connected first before plugging in power. Thank you. 